Hey everybody, I'm Brendan 72 Mo. This is the Dubachi 770, and I'm about to find out if it'll off road. This is the second most voted for vehicle this week, coming in with 11 votes. You can vote for the vehicles that you want to see by clicking the link in the description down below. You can vote for up to three vehicles at a time, and if you don't see the one that uh, you want to vote for, well, there's an option at the very bottom to write one in. Vote as many times as you want. It is perfectly acceptable to rig the election. Right, we're just talking about video games here. Oh, back in stepped out on me a little bit. But I do think the 770 is going to do just fine. I love this car. It's very well balanced. Uh, it has a ton of acceleration, though that can bite you in the ass if you're not careful. This is the first time I've ever taken the 770 off-roading, so uh, this first little bit of the trail is kind of a learning curve for me, but I'm going to very quickly get it under control. I've driven this car a lot on the racetrack and just driving around in lobbies, so I'm fairly used to it, so I've just got to adjust a little bit how I'm driving it in the dirt to keep the back end from coming around on me. But yeah, it's a great car. I, I lo I've loved the 770 since it was released. I've never had any complaints with it. I do wish it was a little bit better in terms of racetrack performance, but it's got such good top speed and good acceleration that if you're on a track with a lot of long straights, well, it'll do fine. It might not win, but it'll still podium. And it's doing great in the dirt. A lot of wheel spin, back end is wanting to come around, but it's nothing that's not manageable. I mean, it's real easy to get it right back in line. And honestly, I'm getting it in, back in line more with the throttle than I am with steering. And I always love a car that I can steer with my right foot. They're a lot of fun. This thing's hauling ass. We might have another sub three minute car on our hands as quick as this is going up the hill. Which, if I can remember right, uh, so far the only three-minute cars have been all-wheel drive. Is that right? I don't know. I always forget to pull up the spreadsheet before I start recording these. Yeah, see if I can't get that to come up here. Um, sub-three-minute cars, we have one, two, one that wasn't all-wheel drive if you don't count the motorcycles. And that was the Tropos Rally. Made it up in... Uh, 246. I don't think we're gonna get quite that good of a time out of the 770 because the back end is uh, getting a bit wiggle 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 on me there. But uh, yeah, I think we're definitely gonna be right at the three minute mark here, which is a great time. That's always something that's really strong in the dirt. You can get right around three minutes. Doesn't seem wow, I even overshot that. Uh, it doesn't seem like the 770 is really losing all that much speed in the dirt either. But we're up. It's close. It's going to be really close to beat that three-minute mark, but... Oh, we did it with two minutes, 58 seconds. Will it off-road? Yep. And did a pretty damn good job. I was just pushing it really hard because I knew I could get this thing up the mountain. So that's why the back end kept stepping out on me. If I would have been a little bit slower with it, I think we would have been fine. But that means we have to do the controlled descent. God, it looks like it can start raining at any second, so hopefully it uh, holds off until we're all the way down to the bottom. So, as usual, just tapping the throttle now and then just to get it going until gravity can take over for us here. And then it's a matter of getting on the brakes. 770 has really good brakes. Uh, they don't lock up easy. They can lock up if you want them to, but it's not just kind of an on or off type thing. Excellent brakes on the 770 to keep the car under control. Which should make this a fairly effortless downhill run. Uh, as long as I don't try to get on the throttle in the middle of the turn, I think we'll be fine. I I really can't foresee any problems with this car. Be interested to see how it does on the jumps, but I'm even able to push it kind of fast going downhill here. I'm using a lot more throttle than I normally do just because this car is so easy to handle. First jump, I actually stayed relatively flat for such a short jump. Front end dip, dipped down just a little bit, but um, nothing too severe. 
something to step out there, and of course that made for a squirrely landing, but real easy to get that straightened back out. This has been kind of a fun run, both up and down. I like lively cars. I don't like cars that are hard to control, but I do like lively cars. And this one's lively, but it's real easy to get it back under control. Coming for our final big jump here. Shaved off a little speed and down. Beautifully done. Back in, stepped out a little bit, but that helped me get right around that turn. Whoa, and we got air. I don't. I think this might be the first vehicle that's ever gotten air there. All right then. Damn. But even over that unexpected bump, it was it was stable despite hitting a massive rock. A lot of cars, I think, if that would have happened, they would have flipped over. But not the 770. Is it obvious yet how much I just really love this car? I really, really do. I like all my debauchies. I, I can't think of a single debauchie that I own that I dislike. Of all the cars in the game, they're, they've got the most consistency. With them. I even love the Exemplar for coupe races. Fantastic car, the Exemplar. Which we've tested a little bit off-road. It did fairly well, uh, too. I just don't remember exactly how much. Or how fast. But we're down in 2 minutes, almost 41 seconds. Which means taking it back to the top of Mount Chiliad. Uh, to see what type of damage this thing can withstand. As always in Willard Off-Road, we are dealing... Whoop, okay, Google thought I said something. We are dealing with a car that has full upgrades, including 100% armor. So... Everything should be just fine. It's losing a lot of body parts, though. A lot. A lot of body parts. I thought I heard some engine damage there. I'm not 100% sure. I know when I, uh... What I usually do to test for engine damage is... Once I've got everything edited together, I go through and listen real carefully as it gets more towards the bottom, but... Oh no, I'm not hearing it now. So maybe that was just the sound of the parts rattling on the ground below me there. Someone's trying to call me, but they're just gonna have to wait until after I finish this recording. Ooh. Big bump. And up to the jump, into the tunnel. Nicely done. It's doing fairly well over the uh, bumpy stuff. Spinning out a little bit, but nothing too severe, really. Just going to keep it moving forward here. And we're going up to uh, spin out again. Trying to get around the wood pile. And we are down in 1 minute 45 seconds. Let's take a look at the damage. Of course, we've lost uh, most of the lights, the windows, the hood, the front bumper, the fenders, the left door is gone, the right door won't close, and the wheels are bent. And that brings us to our next vehicle, the Bravado Rat Truck. This is the first most voted for vehicle this week. It wins with 38 votes. I do believe... Uh, all those votes came from one person, which is absolutely fine. If you've got that much free time, spam away. So, yeah, the rat truck is not a vehicle that has the best traction, or the best braking, um, or the best handling. It, it's, it's a handful, and that's a surprise. I've never had this truck just roll over on me in the middle of just a sweeping right-hander like that. That that really caught me off guard. So, uh, I think it could be a sign of things to come. But, it is able to find enough grip to get up that pretty steep embankment and begin its way back onto the asphalt here. God, this is this is just gonna be nothing but hard work. I can tell right now. Yep, it, it bounced a little bit, and the back end came right around on me. So let's see what we can do with it. Just trying to be as careful as I can, trying to just feather the throttle to keep 
wheel spin to a minimum. Because in this truck, if you spin the wheels and you're trying to turn, it's going to spin around on you. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you've ever driven the rat truck, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Thing also has really god awful braking. Uh, it just. I don't know. A lot of the, like, the slam van and, like, the brawlers, some of these things, they just. Their brakes are just terrible. Unlike the brawler, which just locks up and won't let you stop. This truck just has poor braking all around, and they are fully upgraded. They just don't have enough bite to them to, to slow the thing down. They don't really lock up too often. They just don't slow it down. You know, but now that we're out of some of the uh, problems with the rat truck, it seems to be doing all right. It's just, like I said earlier, just a constant battle to find that sweet spot and keep just adjusting. You can hear that I'm on and off the throttle quite a bit, finding the rev limiter, spinning the wheels, trying to get that wheel spin to come back down. Yeah, this was this was constant, constantly changing the input of, of how much we were doing on the throttle here just to get the thing to keep going forward. But it's getting there. I mean, it, it's not done it in the prettiest fashion. But it's doing it, and I'm kind of surprised by that. Of course, we do have uh, some other surprises coming from this truck in this video, so uh, yeah, keep watching. Oh, came up on two wheels for a split second there. Thought it was going to try to roll on me again. That wouldn't have been good. Able to get on the throttle a little bit in this straighter section, but I don't want to get it up in the air too much. I don't really know how this thing handles landing. Just finding it pretty easy now to minimize the wheel spin. Didn't want to turn in there. We suddenly had some understeer going on. But it's keeping grip and it's going. It's doing all right in the dirt. I think this thing might be a little easier to drive in the dirt than it is on dry pavement. But here comes a very big challenge. This is slippery. But holy shit, look at that! Right up! Alright then, that is a shot. And it is up in 3 minutes, 46 seconds. Will it off-road? And I know you're probably thinking, but Brandon, it made it to the top of the mountain, and that's the rule if they make it to the top of the mountain. Yeah, but like I said, there's still some surprises in store. And part of off-roading is being able to keep control going downhill as well. So let's start that downhill descent that we call controlled and see exactly how it does. Again, terrible brakes. So I was worried right there that I was just going to go right off the side. Just tapping the throttle just enough to get the thing moving forward. Because as soon as gravity can take over, I want this thing to just coast. Because it has, look at that, I cannot get it to slow down. It just won't. This is a just kind of sliding and praying to God that I can keep this thing on the path. I know it sounds like I'm on the throttle, and in this flat section I will be a little bit. But for the most part, that was just engine braking. Completely off the throttle now. But it hit the edge of the rock, rolled over, and... This is why I say it won't off-road. I am hard on the gas right now. Of course, when you're going backwards, you want to stop and get the gas. Now that it's spun around, hard on the brakes. Full braking, trying to half brake to see if that helps. Nothing, nothing is slowing down this truck. If it had brake lights, you would be able to see that I am indeed braking. Nothing I can do about it. There is nothing I can do about this thing sliding down the hill. I'm just trying my best to find some steeper sections, which is why I keep hitting these ledges. I'm just trying to find some steeper stuff that I might be able to get it to slow down on. Looks like it might finally be coming to a stop. Nope, nope, still rolling a little bit. There we go. Where am I? Anyway, look, hold on. I'm trying to get it to actually stop here. Just stay put. Alright, so where the hell am I? 
Yeah, on the wrong side of the mountain. I'm going to see if I can't get it back up to the path so that we can continue the controlled descent. I'm not really sure how uh, that's going to work out. We'll see. It's doing... Uh, as I squeak, my voice squeak. It's doing all right. But uh, it could definitely do better. Yeah. No, look, it's finding grip. Okay, well, that's not too bad. It, it's actually finding grip there. So, uh... Yeah, up it goes. Ha! Huh, look at that. So it does really good off-road, uphill, but downhill, eh, not so much. Yep, up, and okay, the slippery rock got it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Break, 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 break. We weren't rolling and we didn't have as much speed as earlier. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Struggling to find the grip. Come on, baby. Real gentle. Nope. Not there either. Just gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. All right. Did it with that wheel spin. Let's see if we can't go to the left over here and get back up on the path that we're supposed to be on. Yeah, we can make it up there. So I think you guys see for sure why I say no, it won't off-road. It's just useless going downhill. Just absolutely useless. No, it made the jump. Nice. The landing was ugly as fuck. But the jump was fine. So you know they could just stay in midair. Maybe that would help it. God, listen to that engine braking. Of course, I'm hard on the brakes too, but they're doing nothing. They are not slowing me down at all. I mean, look at that. Well, maybe a little bit, but... Oh, this is going to be... Oh, come on. There we go. God, that was some really strange engine braking noise there. All right. Up and over. Down this final little straight. Got on the gas a little bit there, but not much, because I know I have a turn coming up. You really have to anticipate things with this truck. Trying not to slide off the side. Kept it up on the path. Good deal. Back in is trying to step out on me, though, constantly. It's just wanting to spin right around. God, this truck has been a workout. But it's beautiful. <laughs> it looks nice sitting still. Oh, Lord, the brakes couldn't even slow it down from that low speed. Jeez. All right, keep going. Keep going. All right, ooh. Okay, there we go. And we are down in. Five minutes, 21 seconds as we ease into traffic there. And believe it or not, I drove it back to the top of Mount Chiliad so we could do a proper damage descent. Though this thing is already fairly beat up from that first fall. But uh, let's see what it can do when we intentionally fling it down something really dangerous. Oh, it's taking a beating is how it does. Not a whole lot of body parts on this car to really lose because I went without the... Uh, oh, there goes the hood. I went without the uh, side fenders, and oh, that was a uh, redundant statement. So fenders are typically on the side, Brandon. Anyway, so we've lost the hood. We already lost the door from the first fall we had. Oh, that was definitely a slight engine rattle. Yep. And the looks like the body's getting dented up as well. I don't think we have a single window left. We have that one headlight shining. This thing just... I can't keep it going in a straight line to save my life. And here's that goddamn boulder. I think officially that's this boulder's name. The goddamn boulder. But we were able to get off of it. Not going as fast as I usually do in most vehicles as far as the amount of throttle I give it. Just because of things like this, right? Ooh. Ooh. Here. Yeah. Alright. We're almost down. 
this nightmare is almost over. It does not do well in the bumpy stuff at all. Or in the mud, for that matter. Ooh, big hit under the bridge. Well, actually, it's doing okay in the bumpy stuff now. See, that truck's just so unpredictable. Hello, Boulder. That had to have bent that wheel if it wasn't bent already. All right. Let's see if we can't get it to go up over this final incline. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> right into the wood pile. Nicely done. And we are down through the fence in one minute. 58 seconds. Let's take a look at the damage. One headlight's gone. All the windows are gone. The hood's missing. The left door's missing. Has body denting, bent wheels, and minor engine damage. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Get subscribed if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below. I'm Brandon72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.